रिलायंस मेरी जान है रिलायंस इंडिया की शान है एंड फाइनली इट्स मंडे December 31st and in the final episode for this year we present to you 18 great tips to live by in 2019 Tip 1 when caught in a bend improvise thy name is jugard What should you do when chasing a criminal and your gun gets jammed? Yell. Hey, hey, idhar gaye. Were serious. That's exactly what the assistant superintendent of police Sambal Uttar Pradesh did to scare off the bad guy. Hey, hey, idhar gaye. Hey, idhar. Aaro, maro. Aaro, idhar, idhar. Hey, hey, idhar. Tip 2. When popping the question, don't pop the ring. If you do, call not the plumber. but the police take tips from this new york man who managed the perfect proposal at times square and scored a yes i will but managed to accidentally drop his ring into a grate out of excitement horrified the two struggled to retrieve the ring and then called the police a good humored nypd sent out their best man and saved the day and an engagement tip 3 never run after dates bitcoin and well airplanes especially if any of them are on a runway just like in bali which had its bollywood moment where a woman literally chased after a plane instead of waiting for the next flight out this video posted online shows airport security tackling her to the tarmac lest she flies off again the woman failed to report for boarding even after three calls for her the airport spokesperson said we're wondering how she planned to get on to that flight next Tip 4 Where there's a will there's probably a way to explain it even if it refers to Brexit If you've been flummoxed by the many developments in Britain's Brexit negotiations which have been quite the dance here is a BBC sign language interpreter saying it as it is This clip tweeted by writer and actor L Porter went viral with close to 4 million views. Tip 5. Never underestimate the power of a good surprise or of an ordinary paper shredder. Let us present our argument. Buyers at an auction at Sotheby's in London were in for the surprise of their life when Banksy's girl with balloon that closed for over a million euro began to self-destruct. Apparently Banksy had installed a shredder into the painting's frame. Genius, right? Tip 6. Don't forget to believe in all your dreams even if it is in Star Wars like Space Nations. Just like Russian billionaire scientist Dr. Igor Asherbeli who in June declared himself the head of state of Asgardia, the first ever space nation, literally It's got its own constitution, a flag, a national anthem, a parliament of ministers, a supreme space court and even 2 lakh plus citizens. Presently as Guardia may be this bread loaf sized thing revolving around earth, but Dr. Igor hopes it will be an actual country beyond Terra Nova soon. In case you're interested, registering as an Asgardia citizen is completely free. Tip 7: Doers do, winners win, with or without gravity. Also always wear the right shoes when running at zero gravity. Ready, set, go. Just like your Sain Bolt who isn't just the world's fastest man but also manages to win races with as much ease in outward be locations. Invited to a zero gravity race aboard an Airbus A310 normally used for scientific research, the eight-time Olympic champion sprinted. Well, sprint floated to the finish line first. winning neatly over the other two participants tip 8 the only types of holes you should run towards are no holes do not run towards holes when people talk about taking a deep dive into art they probably don't mean literally 
or so was the hope, till passionate Italian art lover fell headlong into one of British artist Anish Kapoor's installations at a showcase in Portugal. One of Kapoor's 1992 works, Descent into Limbo, is a largish pit housed inside a white cuboid hut, designed to either look like an unreal circle painted on the floor or a bottomless pit. The hole is actually about eight and a half feet deep, the exact dimensions of which our unnamed art lover discovered, and the exact meaning of which we let you mull over. Tip 9. Balloons come in all shapes and sizes, hard, steadies, even baby trumps. Case in point, this six meter long inflated Trump baby balloon, which flapping off at Parliament Square in London, set the mood for Trump's UK visit in June this year. The balloon was approved as a means of protest by London Mayor Sadiq Khan after a crowdfunding campaign raised £18,000 and resounding support for it. In a four-day visit, the US President met the Queen, UK's Prime Minister Theresa May, before spending two days of private time in his Scotland resort in June this year. He was not invited to address Parliament, which is the usual honour given to visiting international leaders. Tip 10. The Chinese government is really very accepting and has quite the sense of humour. Just don't mention Winnie the Pooh or Peppa. One of China's most popular social media websites, Duin, banned British cartoon Peppa Pig. The pink frock-wearing cartoon pig, who's wildly popular among Chinese preschoolers, was blacklisted by the site. After sexually suggestive memes on her and other characters led to her recent popularity with Chinese adults. Chinese state media has said that Peppa has become the subject of deviance and manipulation among Chinese youth, with explicit fake versions circulating online. Meanwhile, who's cuddly, loyal, loves honey and also got banned in China this year? You guessed it. But why? Apparently, Pooh is a lot like Chinese President Xi Jinping. It all started in 2013 with this picture of Obama and President Xi which soon became this. 2014 followed with this picture of Xi with Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe, which became this. The Chinese president's humor limit reached a code red in 2015 when this picture of him during a parade was compared to this. As Pooh would say, oh bother. Tip 11. Walls do have ears. They are named Siri. This might answer your question. Here's your reminder. Just like this year, UK's Defence Secretary Gavin Williamson appeared to be interrupted by Siri, iPhone's phone assistant, as he addressed the MPs in the House of Commons about Britain's fight against the Islamic State. And surrounding areas. I found something on the web for in Syria. Syrian Democratic Forces supported by premonition. Um, what a very rum business that is. <laughs> No, but uh, I do apologise for that. Uh, uh, it is very rare that you're heckled by your own mobile phone. Indeed. But, uh, on this occasion, uh, it, is a, it is a new parliamentary convention, without a doubt. Uh, um, so if I may proceed, Mr Speaker, without uh, the help and support of Siri. Tip 12. It may be 2019, but you still can't believe the weather forecast. A clip of the Weather Channel's meteorologist Mike Seidel's report went viral on social media for, quote, an Oscar-worthy performance. Reporting from Wilmington in North Carolina, Seidel can be seen struggling against the wind, even as two people walk by casually. What the chuckle, isn't it? Tip 30. Just remember, even the best of us and Donald Trump may be laughed at sometimes even at the United Nations General Assembly. See for yourself. In less than two years, my administration has accomplished more than almost any administration in the history of our country. America's so true. <laughs> Didn't expect that reaction, but that's okay. <laughs> Tip 14. When you see a double standard, grab it by the neck or by its shirt lapel. 
Nadal's done it and lounged around between sets. Djokovic has done it many times to celebrate a win. Dimitrov's done it. Murray's done it. And there's a whole BuzzFeed article objectifying everybody else who's done it. But when a woman does it, it's apparently unsportsmanlike. What are we talking about? The act of removing or changing a shirt on court. Which is what earned the world number 31 Alize Cornet of France a code violation on day two of the US Open in New York. Alize discovered she had put on her shirt backwards and so before play resumed, she did this. It earned her a code violation from umpire Christian Rask and earned him huge backlash on Twitter about double standards for male and female players. Tip 15. It's 2018 and women are still facing sexism in sport. Let's change that, 2019. Naomi Osaka became the first Japanese to win a Grand Slam singles title this year. 20-year-old Osaka triumphed 6-2, 6-4 in the match marred by Williams' second-set outburst. The American enraged by umpire Carlos Ramos's warning for receiving coaching from her box. When a second code violation for racket abuse was handed out to her, along with a point penalty, Williams exploded. She tearfully accused him of being a thief and demanded an apology from the official. The umpire then handed her a game penalty for a third violation, verbal abuse that put Osaka one game from victory at 5-3 in the second set. Many other tennis players came to Serena's defence, talking about the double standards in tennis. Tip 16. Need inspiration to trudge on? Think of the indomitable Thai 13. In one of the most extraordinary stories of survival, 12 boys of a Thai football team who went missing in a cave in northern Thailand with their 25-year-old coach were found after nine days of relentless searching. The boys had explored the Tham Luang caves before, but this time they were inside when it began to rain and water rushed into the cave's pathways. 840 soldiers, 90 members of a special forces unit, four helicopters, teams from the US, China, Australia and British underwater cave experts worked with a battalion of excavators and relief equipment to stage one of the most audacious rescue missions the world has seen. Tip 17. Even if you have two left feet, keep dancing. Happy couple Ina and Reena Singh, who went viral on the internet for their mellifluous dance moves, are sure to get your ears swinging. And finally, tip 18. Stay tuned to your morning fix. 2018 was also the year we met. Nine months, nearly 200 episodes, even an award to show. It's been quite the journey. Thanks for staying with us. We couldn't have done this without you. Stay tuned. We will be back in 2019 with the news. Love your morning fix? Help support our journalism. Subscribe to Scroll Plus using the link in the description.